What surprised me most in digging into our sustainability practices is all of the other businesses and employees whom we impact in the northern New England market. We were sustainable before people even realized what sustainability was. It's just It was just the culture of the company for us, Coke Northern New England, that started back in the 70s. The innovation started with what can we do with a plastic bottle? We've turned that plastic bottle into the jacket that I'm wearing now. For sustainability, it really starts with highlighting that at, uh, at the top of our organizations, whether it be at our production facility or at our various sales centers, and really highlighting things that are important to us as a company, whether it's recycling initiatives, reduction in miles driven. Everybody feels comfortable understanding that sustainability is a really a core competency for this company. We recycle because of a lot of reasons. Um, we have six million pounds of PET bottles that we processed last year and we sold out to the marketplace four plus million pounds of aluminum cans, all our cardboard, all our shrink wrap. We've been recycling these 30 plus years. Everything that I'm putting back out there into the marketplace is so tied to our local economy up here in the Northeast. We're the largest independent post-consumer PET processor in North America. We specialize in PET, that's all we do. What we're looking for is more containers at all time and we do about two billion containers a year, that's about 80 million pounds. Well, I think the life cycle of a plastic bottle is, uh, is very unique. Let's start out with a, uh, with a Northern New England Coke bottle. Coke will basically get the bottle from one of their converters, they'll fill it, they'll sell the product. The consumer will take that product, consume it, and then return that bottle, and then it winds up in the waste stream. And then we will basically buy that bottle, and that bottle comes back in here in, uh, in typically, say, a baled form. And now we're going to take that bottle and we're going to break it down and we're going to try to recover the individual PET resin that, that it started with. That resin will be basically converted back into a wash flake or a, a melt filtered pellet and we're going to sell back to companies that's going to injection mold it back in the preform, make a bottle, it'll go back to Coca-Cola and we'll start the process all over again. People don't get it. I think they get the wrong impression on plastic bottles that there might be uh, you know, an issue or it's evil because it doesn't biodegrade, but there's a huge market. Uh, there's not a bottle that can be collected that you can't recycle it back into usable form. Polar Tech was the inventor of fleece. In 1981, we worked with Patagonia to really invent modern synthetic fleece. Since then, we've been working on uh, all kinds of fabric innovations from waterproof breathable fabrics to additional high lot fleeces, recycled fleece. 50% of what we make on a daily basis out of our Lawrence, Massachusetts facility is made from PET plastic. We buy millions of pounds of yarn from Unify Reprieve. We turn that yarn into fabric and sell it to the best brands around the globe. For me to be able to provide that to them instead of throwing it into a landfill is, is just, it's great. It makes me feel good about what I do. Good, solid sustainability practices are an expectation from both our customers and our consumers. They're expecting the folks that they purchase products from to have good sustainability programs. We know it's important to encourage all of our associates around the importance of sustainability and encourage them to really live that only here at work, but hopefully it translates into their lives as well. What's important to me is we continue to engage in the conversation with our customers and consumers. I love what I do. When we can physically go out and touch where our material goes, for us to be able to help them grow the way they've been growing, it's, it's again, it's just one of those things that really makes me feel good about what we do on a day-to-day -day basis.